Hey guys, how's it going? Beast here. Um, thanks for check, clicking on my video, checking it out. Thanks for watching. I appreciate that. Um, the response on my uh, very first uh, Call of Duty 1X video that I put up uh, was, is tremendous, continues to be tremendous. And so uh, I'm sure there's a lot of you guys that are newer to my channel. So welcome. Um, I am bringing you two matches today. Uh, one is on Gustav Cannon, this first one. Uh, and then the second one is on Aachen. Um, and, uh, this first one, I believe I go 26 and six and the second one I go 19 and five. Um, so I just wanted to bring you guys a couple of good matches. So, um, there were just a couple things to address today. Um, this is like my, f recently I've been doing really well for the number of takes I have to do on these voiceovers. Cause I'm, you know, I'm getting more comfortable and I'm able to, you know, say what I want to say, but this is like my fourth take of this one. Um, and the last one was just too negative and I don't want to be negative about the game. So, um, Super enjoying the game. I'm really thrilled. Uh, really just enjoyed the heck out of this double XP weekend. Um, just super excited for that. Um, this guy, watch this guy laying down here. Come on, bro. What do you think you're doing there? So, uh, yeah, I've really been enjoying it. Um, this, I mean, I, I love this game, guys. This this is the, the best Call of Duty in a couple years. Um... And as far as just like overall gameplay and balance and all that kind of stuff, I think this is the best Call of Duty in many years, like probably since Modern Warfare 3. Um, so I'm super impressed with it. I'm really, really enjoying it. I, if you guys are here watching the video, I'm assuming some of you have it too, and I hope you're enjoying it too. Um, that's not to say that the game doesn't have its issues, because um, it definitely does, and I'll get into those here in a little bit. Um, but... Um, yeah, I mean, I'm just really enjoying the game. So this right here, um, this map, like the first two days, was a map that I really loved. Um, and I've grown to not like it as much. Um, I, I actually hated it for a little bit, um, but now I just dislike it. Look at that kill right there, huh? Get on my level, bruh. That guy was trying to get on my level. Um, but yeah, so uh, it's basically become a sniper map. Um, I, I mean, I sometimes I go on the cannon... That was nice right there, huh? Can't believe that guy didn't kill me. I literally had my back facing him. And he, he wasn't able to kill me. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's such a small map. And it's so open. But there's literally no action that happens. And I would say four out of five games that you play on this map um, and end up uh, running out of time. You don't end up reaching the 75 kill limit. It just runs out of time. And that's what happened in this game, too. Um, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I don't really know. Um, I've just been really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying the grind. Um, you know, as I said in my previous video, like, I've actually made a commitment to myself that I'm not going to play this game when it's not fun anymore um, because that's how you ruin your stats and that's how you, you know, ruin the game for yourself. Um, so I don't want to do that. I don't want to sit here and spend, you know, every waking moment outside of my real job playing this game. Um... But, I mean, I do, though. I mean, I want to play as much as I can. But as soon as I stop having fun, I'm going to stop playing. Um, so that being said, uh, I was actually really upset and disappointed when I got on tonight because uh, I watched... Uh, I saw a thing uh, that was talking about the update to the game. And uh, it was from Michael Condry. And he was, you know, talking about um, this thing with the XP, which uh, I'll get into in a second. Um, but... Uh, what ended up happening was uh, they the he posted on Reddit and he basically said that uh, there was a there was an accident. Okay, well I'll, get, I'll start it now. So um, basically, uh, since launch day, uh, unintentionally the game has been playing at double XP the whole time. So they accidentally launched the game with double XP active, and so that's been active for the entire first week. So this weekend is when they found out because they went to add the double XP and they found out that the XP was now triple XP. So this double XP weekend in air quotes has been triple XP this whole time or well this whole weekend. Um, and then since the game came out, it's actually been double XP. Now this is actually a pretty cool kill here. Um, if I'm thinking of the right kill here, this guy was trying to hide behind the tank. Um, now I, I may, I don't know if, if I had here or not. Um, yeah, see, this is just over here. I mean, look at that, right? So, I'm not sure if I was using... So, I've been using the, uh, Division as infantry, so I get faster movement while I'm ADS, and then I get extra clips, and I get a bayonet on my rifle. Um, see, so look at these long shots, guys. I mean, come on, man, right? That's what I'm talking about. I've always been about that long shot life. 
And, uh, yeah, now it's just, now I'm doing it again. It's easier now on the bigger TV as compared to what I was playing on before. Uh, I mean, I was on, I was at about that long shot life when I was on a 37 inch TV. Now I'm on a 55. So, um, but yeah, so, uh, like that. I mean, seriously, seriously. So, uh, anyway, so what he said was, you know, come Monday morning, uh, he said, basically get it while you can, because come Monday morning, it's going to be back to normal. And so, because it's Monday night, I got home. I didn't, I didn't worry about getting on right away. Took a little bit of a break, watched some videos, fell asleep for an hour, did some dishes and stuff like that. You know, just regular, you know, adult stuff. Uh, got online to find out that it's still double XP. So I basically lost probably four hours worth of gameplay um, at double XP, which is really unfortunate and actually really kind of upset me. Um, I mean, you know, what are you going to do? But it actually, it really got under my skin, you know, especially because of what's about to happen, which is this. Um, so because the game launched with double XP accidentally, uh, they are now uh, going to be reverting back to the original way um, that it was designed. Now, keep in mind, let's assume that Sledgehammer has 100 employees. I don't know how many employees they have, but 100 is probably an okay number. So if they had 100 employees for 40 hours a week, that's 4,000 hours a week. And there's 52 weeks in a year. So think about that, those man hours. That's an incredible amount of man hours. And it took them three years to develop this game. So they have an absolutely obscene amount of man hours. I would guess maybe 100,000 man hours into this game. Maybe more. So... You know, they designed the game a certain way. So, obviously, they're going to take it back to the way they meant to design it. But the amount of people freaking out and complaining about the, the XP that's going to be going back to normal is way too high. Um, people are saying, you know, it started with, like, T. Martin saying, you know, oh, man, if they take it back down. You know, and I like him. He was the first person I ever subscribed to on YouTube. And I still watch his videos occasionally. Um, and I respect him. But he said, you know, oh, they're going to, they're going to. You know, the XP is going to go down so much. Like, you know, people are... It's going to take people, you know, potentially more than 20 hours to get through an entire prestige. 20 game hours. I mean, that's just... That's just too much. Um, and I've heard other people say the same thing. And my question to you guys who think that is... How short of a memory do you have? And have you never played a Call of Duty before? Because I'll tell you, from years of tracking this type of stuff... From years of keeping track... Of my stats and uh, my playtime and all that kind of stuff, I'll tell you that one day of playtime, which is 24 hours of playtime per prestige, has been fairly standard for many years. Um, it's only within the last, like, two years, uh, and maybe even Black Ops 3, where it went to something different. And that was because you had 15 prestiges, um, or even more, and all this double XP that goes on, and all these double XP weekends. Like... Guys, there used to be no... I mean, double XP wasn't even a thing. You had, like, three of those a year. You had, like, a, sometimes a Christmas double XP, uh, and then sometimes, like, a summer double XP, and then, and then like, in, on a four-day weekend, you know, where you had, like, a... You know, or where you had... They had some sort of, you know, Memorial Day weekend or something they would do, or, like, Fourth of July or something like that. So, I mean, you maybe had a couple a year. But one day of, of playtime, 24 hours per prestige, should be fairly standard. See, that guy right there, I didn't realize that was a guy because I didn't see him moving. I thought it was a dead body, and I actually come back and kill him in a second, but I didn't realize that it was, that it was a guy. See, I didn't even realize, and I was like, wow, dude. So then I came over here and teabagged him. I was like, dude, what are you doing just laying in the corner like that? So, I mean, that's pretty standard. I mean, considering there's only 10 prestiges, I mean, I think there's more levels than that. I unfortunately found that out without knowing. I didn't want to know that. Um, I mean, I'm sure I would have found it eventually, but um, I found that out, and, and that was kind of disappointing to find out. But, um, I mean, seriously? Like, people are complaining that it's going to take 10 days of playtime to reach the max prestige? I mean, that's just ridiculous, guys. That's how Call of Duty has always been. And when we're returning to the boots on the ground, I mean, it's even better. You know, this gameplay on this game is fairly slow, and I love that about this game. It's, it's back to the way Call of Duty used to be. And unfortunately, that's just not uh, very nice for people in this day and age. Who pe everybody has ADHD, you know? I'm convinced that 
everybody would have ADHD if they got diet, you know, if they if they went to someone and then someone was like, yeah, you have ADHD, you can't focus on something for more than this amount of time. I mean, you know, what do you think the average watch time of every video across YouTube is two minutes? I mean, there are, you know, there are exceptions, obviously there's outliers like in everything, but I mean, the average watch time across all of YouTube is two minutes. It's like two minutes and 10 seconds. That's ridiculous. I guarantee you the average video uploaded to YouTube is longer than two minutes. I mean, it's just, it's ridiculous. People can't focus on anything. They can't stick out anything. So, of course, they want instant gratification, and there's plenty of games that'll give it to them. So, you know, I'm sure there'll be some people that won't want to keep playing this game after that. But that's the whole point. That's the, that's what the grind of the game is. You know, you look at a game like Destiny. Destiny 2 changed up the entire formula just because people didn't like to grind. And it's like, you know, what's the point? Like, what what is what kind of accomplishment is something if... It only takes, you know, it takes less than a day of playtime to, to level up a whole prestige. And there's, you know, whatever amount of prestiges. And then you get double XP, like, every three weekends. Like, you know, three out of every five week or two out of every five weekends, you get double XP. Like, I don't get it, man. Like, there's just this weird, like, people want, you know, everybody cries, like, we want Call of Duty to be like it used to be. We want it, like it to be like it used to be. And now it's like that. And now there's people crying about that, too. So, I mean, obviously, they'll never be happy. Um, I, for one, am very thrilled with this game. I love, love, love the game. Um, but I do briefly want to talk about this. So um, this right here is perfect timing, perfect transition. Well, I mean, it should be on the fourth freaking take. Been sitting here for an hour trying to do a, you know, 16-minute voiceover like a, like a champ. Um, disconnected from server. So the update that they put out today, um, which I will link in the description. I found the Reddit article. Um after doing some searching, after I found it initially, um, they basically addressed some issues with the game. They addressed some stability issues. They addressed uh, some server issues. They addressed infinite loading screen issues. They addressed all this kind of stuff. Um, and uh, I'm not joking when I say nine out of every ten comments on this Reddit article were saying it's still not fixed. I'm still having issues. I'm still having issues. And the other, I, I saw two positive comments. One of them said, I'm on PS4, and it seems like they've ironed out the issues. No issues for me tonight. And the other one, I don't remember, but it was a positive one. But 9 out of every 10 things on there said that the issue was not fixed, and they were still having issues. Um, at the, the article says that they just rolled out dedicated servers for the PS4, um, and that they experimenting. They're just starting to experiment with dedicated servers on Xbox One. So, in typical idiot fashion, the other 1 out of 10 comments that were on that Reddit said, Not fixed. I still have no dedicated servers on Xbox One. I saw two host migrations today. Look at that bayonet. And another one. And it's just like, did you even read the article? Because Xbox Live is not on dedicated servers right now. That's not what the article says. It's not what the Reddit post says. So just, you know, typical stupidity of people just like, dur, 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 just not reading and just, you know, spouting off at the mouth. So um, they, you know, they talked about a lot of the issues and, and uh, a lot of the stuff that, they've, that they're trying to fix. They actually fixed the, the XP issue. So now it's regular double XP, um, but I will go down to regular single XP starting uh, tomorrow or I guess you know, today for you guys. Um, so there's the first host migration. So in the previous uh, week and whatever days that I've played this game, I've experienced uh, two host migrations, possibly three, but two of that I know of for sure, uh, host migrations, and uh, I experienced two in this one game right here, and I probably had four of them tonight in general, uh, so or overall, so really weird issues. Um, I didn't get disconnected at all tonight, uh, like I have been the previous few nights, um, so that's awesome. Um, however, uh, as far as the actual connection, uh, it's worse. Uh, as far as the connection of the players in the game, it's worse. Um, still have the issue where you go to search for a game and it puts you into a lobby with like five people and you all just sit there and it never fills up and then everybody leaves. See, that guy had a nasty feed right there. So see how his Clantex has two bar? I was actually in a game with him before this. Uh, I was in a game with this Canadian guy who was having all sorts of issues uh, with connection. And I, and I didn't notice anything on on his thing from my end. So I told him, hey, you know, dude, it looks like you're on a normal connection to me. Here comes the second host migration. I was like, you look fine to me. Um, and I said, I'm not showing any issues for you. 
And he said, yeah, I'm having terrible issues. So then, like, the next game after that, I was having the issues. Uh, and I was on a two-bar, and he was on a full full bar, and he wasn't having any issues. And I was having issues again. So it was really weird how it was working. Um, I would say before this, um, first few days, I saw no red bar connections. That was a pretty nice feed I get here. Too bad I couldn't finish that guy off. I didn't realize how little ammo I had. Um, but, uh, oh, I actually didn't, also didn't, wait, that was, was that me on the streak? No, that was him on the streak. So, uh, you know, for, for me, the first few days, never noticed any red bars. Um, after the initial update, the first update, um, I started noticing it every few games, there was somebody on a red bar. Um, and now, uh, as of tonight, it was literally every other game, at least, maybe even every game. There was only a couple of games I played tonight that didn't have somebody with a red bar. So it ended up being me. And then uh, I was in this lobby with this Versace guy. Uh, and so I left because I got dominated because I was on a two-bar connection. So I left, waited a minute, rejoined, and it put me in this game. Uh, and everything was fine. And then we had the first host migration, and then he went to a two-bar. Uh, and then we had a second host migration, and he stayed on a two-bar. So... I mean, I don't really know. I don't know, guys. There, there's some weird stuff going on. Um, and, uh, you know, if, if I'll be honest, because I like being honest, you know, that's something that I am. You know, I do. Obviously, everybody lies. Um, but as a general rule, I'm a, I'm a very honest person. Um, and so I'm going to be honest about what I think about the game. Um, I love the game. I love the gameplay. I love the balance. I love the guns. Uh, I like the streaks, or almost lack thereof. They're, they're not very easy to get in Team Deathmatch. I mean, a recon plane is five kills. So you have to go on a five kill streak just to get a recon plane. Um, I, I, I just... I love, love, love the game, but these issues that we're having with the, with the stability of the game is really not acceptable. Um, and I'm not saying that from a perspective of, like, somebody who's getting really mad about it and pulling out my hair about it. I mean, first of all, I don't have any hair. But second of all... It, it's not about that, you know? I mean, it's it, it's costing me a lot of time, yes. Um, and, and some frustration, yes. But it's really it's really just about, you know, the fact that for years and years on Call of Duty, you could just get on and, and hop in a match and you could just play, like, in that same lobby. Maybe you'd have to research occasionally, but you could just play game after game after game for a whole night and, you know, be totally fine. Um, and you can't do that anymore, unfortunately. There's just too many hiccups, and I really think they need to iron this out. Um, for a company that made 500 million in revenue, it's 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 a little it's a little shocking. So, um, thank you guys for checking this out. Make sure you subscribe if you like my content. Like I said, there's a lot of you new subscribers out there, so thank you for that. Um, subscribe if you like me and all my videos, and I will see you another time. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.